Hello, okay. Welcome to a video tutorial on how to draw a kampong village. Okay, the today's activity for what you, what we're gonna need. Okay, a few things. Firstly, a two B pencil over here, a black marker. Okay, for our outline. Uh, color pencils. If uh, later on, if you're gonna need to color your word, your sketchbook, the one that we have here, and also your ruler. Okay, and a uh, eraser if you want to. So okay. If you need to erase anything, so today's drawing is inspired by Liu Kang's life, life by the river. Okay, this one over here. So what we're gonna draw? Okay, we're gonna focus instead of drawing every single thing. We're gonna just zoom into a uh, a house, something like this. We're gonna draw a house. Okay, with maybe some a jetty. Okay, this thing, this bridge looking thing is called a jetty, as well as this long wooden stilts. Okay, that we're gonna have in our drawing as well. So. Without further ado, okay, let's start. Okay, so first off, we need to make some measurements. Okay, I did a light sketch. Okay, so to make things uh easier for me. Okay, uh, what we're we gonna do now? First, first off, you're gonna do uh two finger spacing from the top. Okay, you're gonna make a marking over there. So two finger spacing, like what I'm doing right now. You're gonna use your pencil to make a mark. Okay, start by using your pencil first. Once you have that, we're gonna do maybe three finger spacing from the side. Make a marking over here, okay, and also two finger spacing from the bottom, like this, okay. Make a marking. So your finger might be smaller than mine, okay. So you just, as long as it's not too close to the edge, that's I'm okay. With, I'm okay with it. So once you have these three points, okay, one, two, and three, okay, we're gonna use our whole palm, okay, and make a whole marking over like this. So our palm rested on a paper over here. Make a little marking, okay. So these four markings, one, two, three, four, will be the rough size of our whole house. Okay, we want to draw it big. We want to make use of the space that we have over here. Okay, but not too big until we do have enough space for the other things in our drawings. All right. So without further ado, I'm gonna start with one line. Okay, I'm gonna start with a line that for the roof. Okay, so for the roof, it's gonna be a triangle. So I'm gonna use marker so that you can see. But those, but if you are drawing at home, okay, please use a pencil first. Okay, use a pencil to draw before you actually use your outline. Use marker for your outline. All right. So I'm gonna do a a line over here. Okay, likewise like this. Okay, and I'm gonna draw another line going downwards this way for the roof of my house. Okay. Okay. Now, to join our roof, we're gonna use some uh, jaggedy lines like this going up going down going up going down going up so and so forth okay so you want to be pretty careful don't rush through okay make sure you end up with on the other side of the roof so up and down all the way till you get a nice shape like this this is the roof of our house next up we're gonna draw a line down this way so maybe it's from here all the way down up to here okay not too long okay leave some space from the bottom okay same thing on the other side we're gonna draw a line down as well draw a nice line you can use a ruler if you want to okay but you don't do not have to okay then once you're done with these two lines we're gonna draw in the lines together so same thing I'm gonna draw a line across this way so you should get a nice looking house now we're gonna make our house look a bit three-dimensional so how do you do that okay first of all from here this line we do not draw the line straight across instead we are drawing it slightly slanting upwards okay going upwards this way so if I were to draw a straight line across it's gonna look like this right a straight line across it looks like this but this time we're gonna do the line going upwards this way so the line is gonna go slanted this way so Maybe somewhere over here, this is where we put our palm, remember? We stopped here. So somewhere over here, I'm going to draw a line going upwards. Okay, and I stop somewhere over here. Then once I'm done, I'm going to do the same thing for, now for the roof, okay? For the top of the roof, instead of going upwards like what we did over here, we're going to go downwards instead, okay? Downwards. So maybe somewhere over here, I'm going to draw a downwards roof this way okay and for this part I'm gonna draw a 
okay, for this part, I'm going to draw a slanted line. Okay, this slanted line looks something like what we drew over here. Okay, it's almost the almost same, almost similar. Okay, so, but maybe a shorter version. So, we're going to draw another line over here. Okay. And we're going to connect these two lines together now. So, connect these two lines. So, you should get this box looking thing. Okay, what else are we missing? We are missing this jaggedy part over here, right? For the roof. So same thing, we're gonna, we know we have to end here, we have to start here. Okay, I'm gonna start going up, going down, jaggedy lines, jaggedy lines, jaggedy lines. Do not rush through, okay, try to keep your nice lines nice and, and neat, okay. So you have a house looking over here. So for our house, we're gonna add some, uh, a nice and a nice and huge door, okay, for the door. Okay? So maybe uh, somewhere over here, I'm gonna do a, a, a door, I'm gonna add a door. But for kampung houses, okay, sometimes they you want it to be a bit more breezy, okay, it's a bit more windy. So perhaps I just gonna remove the whole. We don't really need a, a door. We can just use. We can just add some curtains, okay, so a big door over here. So if I were to open the house this way, maybe I can add some curtains, right? So maybe a bit of curtains over here. Some lines to show its curtains. Some lines this way, going this way. And if, if I can see the insides of the house, so I know it's going to be a, a box, okay, so I'm going to draw a line here just to see what's in, so that I can see that it's, I can see the insides of the house. Okay, this part over here, we're going to add a, a window, okay, so we're going to add a window for this. Okay, so how are we going to start? We're going to start with a, a, a rectangle, so a line across, two lines down, okay, a rectangle, close the rectangle, this way. Now we're going to draw that a line slanting downwards this way. Same thing for this side, but this time it's going to go upwards. So I'm going up this way. Then one line down. And another line down this way. Notice I'm doing the same. There's like a mirror image, right? Same on both sides. And once I have this part, and this line, this point where I stop is slightly longer than this line. This line is like this. This line is way longer, okay? I'm going to connect this to line to this point. This point over here, this line I'm gonna to connect to this point. So I get a, a open window, a window that is open. So if you want to show that it's a window, you can add some lines going this way. Okay, you can add some lines going this way. Space the lines even, nice and even. Okay. It, your lines doesn't have to be as, as neat as mine, okay? You can just do your own version. So you have a window that is open up. So now we have a nice looking house over here. We're gonna have uh we're getting some stilts for the house so that because it's built on a on a river, right? But it, we don't want to draw the lines too. Uh, we don't want to draw the lines, uh, not too many. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start with the four corners of the house. One, two, three. The other one in the back, we, which we can't really see. Okay, so I'm gonna start by drawing one first, one over here. Okay, and maybe one over here, the four corners of the house, and one over here. Okay. And one more maybe somewhere over here which you can't really see maybe i can just draw a little a little line over here to show that it's at the back okay a shorter one okay now after we've done with this four okay this this four is not going to be strong enough to hold the whole house right so maybe we want to add some more in between okay so one i'm gonna add two more over here to this side i'm gonna add two more to this side as well okay and maybe just a few more behind where a short few more shorter one so we get a house with some stilts okay to hold it up now once we've done the house okay we we are gonna add some we're gonna close these lines okay these lines but because we want to show that the roof the house is built is been uh submerged in the water the stilts are being submerged in the water we're gonna do this some wavy lines to show that it's in the water wavy lines wavy line wavy line wavy lines Wavy lines, wavy line, and wavy lines. Okay, to show that it's in the water, this way. Okay, once you're done with that, we're gonna add a jetty. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you're gonna add a jetty. So first off, I'm gonna start with a from the house. I'm gonna draw a line, uh, oh, a S shape line. Okay, so the the line going this way, it curves and it goes out. Okay, here I'm gonna leave a gap. Later I'll show you why I'm leaving a gap over here. All right. Okay, then all the way through this way now same thing for the other one so 
another S shape curve. Try to make sure that this spacing is not too close, okay? It's because it's for people to walk on, so you need to have give them some space, okay? For them to walk. Same thing, do an S curve, a turn, and we get a line like this. Notice it's getting slightly smaller as it goes to the back, okay? Because things which are closer to us looks bigger, right? Things which are going away look smaller. So once we have this, okay, it's, it's kind of floating, right? So we same thing like what we did for the for the house, we're gonna add some stilts for it. So I'm gonna add some wooden stilts this way. So space your stilts out, okay, not too, make sure they are not too close to each other. Space them out nicely and evenly. Okay, once I reach here, I'm gonna I'm not gonna draw any more lines over here. I'm gonna go over to the other side. So this way, this way, this way. And once I, I reach here, the edge, I reach the end already, jump over to the other side again. So one, one, two, one, two, one, two. Notice how I'm spacing them up quite evenly, right? Okay, all the way. So right here, you have the, the thing that looks like it's going all the way to this side, okay? So once we are done with this, same thing like what we do over here, we're going to close up the, the line to show that it's in the water, okay? Draw a line across to show it's in the water. If you want to, okay, if you're up for the challenge, you can add, you can add the one that you can see at the back. So maybe some shorter ones. If you're up for it, okay. If if it doesn't make sense to you, you can you can skip you can skip this this uh, step over here. So just now we left a gap over here. So what what I'm gonna do with this little gap over here? You can see that actually I sketched out a person, right? You can sort of tell that uh, there's a little little person sitting by the by the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna draw. So maybe I can give this person a I'm gonna draw a head, a body sitting by the edge over here. Maybe he's holding on to a fishing rod. Okay, and maybe I wanna give him a hat, a nice hat, fisherman hat this way. Okay, so he's sitting by the edge of the river, he's holding on to a fishing rod. And you use a thinner line for this, okay? So if your marker is too thick, okay, just use a pencil. It is okay, I'm just gonna go ahead to show you okay what, what I mean by that. So if I'm drawing like this, I'm gonna make the rod a bit thicker. So he's fishing. Okay. You can do something like this. Add add something interesting. Okay, don't, now that we have the house, we have the, the bridge, we're gonna have we need some people, right? We need some people, we need some life. Okay, some we're gonna show some life. So maybe over here I'm gonna draw a, a man in a boat, a fisherman. Okay. So what we're we gonna how are we gonna do this? Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit for this part. Okay, I'm going to draw for the boat. I'm going to draw a a curve this way and a line across. Same thing. I'm leaving a little gap over there. Okay, all the way up this way and going down. I'm leaving another gap and going up this way okay now i'm gonna draw the person i'm gonna draw the person inside you notice i leave two gaps over here right because these two gaps are for my paddle the boat the oar okay so i'm gonna draw a a paddle two lines for the oar then over here i'm gonna show that the person is holding on to the oar his hand is holding on to the oar be both hands holding on to the oar okay then i'm gonna draw the body of the person this way, just like how I give this guy a fisherman hat, maybe I want to give him a fisherman hat as well, right? So I start with drawing the fisherman hat this way. Okay, a nice long hat to keep him shaded in the hot sun. Okay, this way, a nice fisherman hat. Alright, so once we're done with one side of the boat, maybe you want to draw a bit of his, uh, his knee, right? His knee is going to be somewhere over here. And we're going to draw the other side of the boat this way. Going across this way and going up. So we've got a nice boat in the river. Notice that I leave this part of, uh, exposed, right? Because I'm going to draw the, the, the thing is in the water. So you're going to see that it's inside the water this way. Okay, so in the water. Now we're going to zoom out. Maybe we're going to add some people in the house. So perhaps a, a, a lady this time. So we're going to add... Maybe she's she's just... Hope, uh, she just opened the window, right? So she's wearing this... Uh, Outfit like this, so maybe a, a round face like this. You can draw your own version, it doesn't have to be the same as mine. 
Okay, I'm gonna give her a, a, a bun, a hair bun like this. Okay, similar to what we have in the painting over here. You can see that, their hair. Right over here, I'm giving her the same kind of hairstyle. Okay, as this one over here. So, I'm doing, I'm taking inspiration from this uh, Liu Kang's painting. Okay, so it's not exactly the same. Now, once we're done with this, a house, two boats, a jetty. Okay, I'm gonna add few more boats in the water. So maybe one over here, one over here. Okay, to space them up. So I'm gonna have one over here. But notice that it's not the same size, right? It's, this is bigger, this is gonna be smaller because it's further away from us. So I'm gonna add a smaller boat. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna have maybe another, another person in the boat. But perhaps he's a bit too far away for us to see what is going on. So I'm just gonna do something like this. The person's in a boat. Maybe one more over here. Okay, so over here. Okay, if you find that the person is good, if everybody is looking to, is feeling a bit, feeling a bit lonely, right? Okay, so maybe you can have two person instead. So maybe, uh, one person over here, holding in an oar. Okay, oh, I forgot to give this guy an oar too. Okay, how is he gonna row the boat, right? Okay, so give him an oar. So same thing for this person. Then maybe another person facing the same direction, right? They have to... So maybe one more like this. So he was, he's also holding an oar. So maybe two persons in this boat. Okay, so you can do something like this. Up to you. Maybe this can be a, a lady. Okay. So once you're done with this, we're gonna add some lines. So a line that goes this way. One plank. Okay. And we get the same thing. We're gonna speed up this process. Okay. Okay, it's okay if your lines are not super perfect. Okay, that's not that's not the point of this activity. Now, once you're done with this, I'm gonna draw lines that are going downwards this way. So, for the roof, I'm gonna draw a line that goes down this way. Same thing, straight lines. Downwards this way. Okay, some some interesting lines for the roof. So I'm gonna leave this one out. Okay, I'm not gonna draw this one. I, I kind of like how it's empty. Okay, to show a bit of contrast with the rest. So I'm gonna leave it like this. Now we're gonna add some lines for the jetty. Okay, for the jetty, the lines are are, are pretty uh can be quite challenging. So I'm gonna start. If you can't really follow, try your best to follow. Okay, the same same thing. They are wooden planks. So wooden planks they're gonna have the equal equal distance apart, right? So Try not to make the lines too close to each other. Not too close. Okay. Now I'm going this way. The lines are following, 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 going this way. Now it's turning, it's turning, 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 turning. Line across, 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 across. All the way, okay? All the way. So you have nice a jetty going across this way. So once you're done, okay. You can add things in the water, okay. So up to you. You can draw. You can add lines for the boats as well if you want to, uh, but it's not necessary. Okay, so I'm gonna add some lines in the water, okay, to show that it is water. So some lines this way, some lines in the water, some dash, okay. Make sure your lines are not too short, okay. Done, okay. For this water, it shows that the water is very calm, right? It's very peaceful. For example, if, if I have these lines, okay, these lines are very peaceful. This is to show peaceful water. So how you draw water like this? This is very rough water, right? When it's very bumpy, the people on the boat are gonna go whoa, whoa, like this, right? It's too bumpy. This is for very, very bumpy water. Okay, so I'm gonna make peaceful lines. Make the water seem very calm, very peaceful. Everybody's having a nice, uh, peaceful day, okay? You can add things in the water. You can add fishes if you want to. Okay, so maybe somewhere over here I can maybe add a duck. Okay, if I want to add a duck. So maybe you can add a duck like this. This way. A little duck. Okay, a simple, simple looking duck this way. Inside of water as well. Maybe it's followed by a, little, a bunch of smaller, smaller ducklings. Okay, one, two, three. This way, following it in the water.
I'm, I'm doing it quick, uh, faster so that you can, I can show you the entire product at the end. So once you're done with this, you can go ahead and use a color pencil to go and color it if you want to. Okay, or you can leave it like this. I'm fine with it. Okay, so stay tuned for the next lesson where we're going to do a much bigger version. Alright, thank you and have a nice day.